Summoners, we have Haythor in the game, and she's kind of disgusting. I, I can't wait to talk about her. Let's go into fear first, though. I know Sage Master has got to be just ecstatic about this. This is one of his favorite units. I remember when he built up the four star one way back in the day, just to be absolutely ridiculous. But let's talk about this one, God Sword. Another one, because that's what the game needed. We have Slaying, and then we have Times Pulse, and then at the start of combat, if Unis HP is greater than 25%, you have Omni plus five, and this is where things get a little crazy. Inflicts speed defense minus X on foe. X equals 11 minus foe's max special cooldown count times two, minimum of three. If foe does not have a special... Uh, a special skill penalty equals three. So obviously more speed is just critical. We've talked about that over and over again, but for Omni tanks, speed is what keeps you alive. It is the thing. So having additional speed is absolutely fantastic. And then it reduces damage from foe's first attack by 40% during combat. And also if unit speed is greater than foe's speed plus five, so if they double, neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X. So you get tempo. On you well half tempo on unit during combat. If unit's HP is greater than 25% at start of combat and you special cooldown count is at its maximum value after combat, grants special cooldown count minus one to unit after combat. And they're just handing this effect out like crazy. <laughs> so obviously Glimmer is not going to be the special you're gonna want on this unit. Um godlike reflexes is probably it. This unit is very, very similar to Felix. Uh, I, I don't scream at me too much for that. <laughs> but uh, you, yeah, you get the attack speed finish four. You're probably going to want distant attack speed solo. Uh, I, it just, there's not, there's not as much to do for melee specialists right now. So you, you really want that distant counter. This is the interesting thing, and this is physical null follow up. And I am, I'm curious to see these skills. This is inflict speed, defense minus four on foe. It's excellent. Neutralizes penalties that, uh, uh, <laughs> neutralizes effects that guarantee foe's follow up attack and effects that prevents units follow up attack and reduces the percent of foe's non-special damage by X percent. Skills by 50% during combat. So, you've seen this a million times. We've got damage reduction, we've got speed and defense, that's excellent. Um, yeah, I, I <laughs> this is really good, but what you're comparing this to is close call and the dodge four skills. And the thing about those is that they come with that, um, <laughs> that they come with that phantom speed which is so, so good in this meta. Right now, I'd give the edge to those skills. Um, we'll see what they have in mind for these. Obviously, these will be infantry only. They, they almost always are. But yeah, this is still really good. I like it. Uh, the, the other thing for infantry units is it's so easy to get null follow-up from some other source. You have infantry null follow-up. You have infantry speed tactic. I, I guess those are really the only two sources, but <laughs> skill-wise. But you're seeing what I'm saying. Because you can get those from an external source, you kind of want something else in that B skill. Um, Attack Speed Otho is a fantastic skill, and you love that. This is a very good kit. I just... Okay, I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. This is not a great kit for an Omni tank. This is a great kit for a melee specialist. If you want to take this unit and use her, you're going to have to change out the special, the the A skill, probably the B skill, and you'll keep the C skill. So, but that's expensive. But I, Omni tanks are expensive. So I, if this is your favorite unit, you can definitely make her work. I think she's really good. I'm just so expensive. All right, let's move on. <laughs> I, I just... Lately, I feel like they're doing that to speed-based units where they, they know exactly what they need and they are designing it around not giving it to them so that you have to summon it for more fodder. I'm just, I'm not a huge fan. Okay, we have Noah. Let's remember this unit is going into the standard pool. That's important because you'll be able to get this fodder and Fodder is definitely something that you like with this unit. <laughs> so we've got 
Slaying. We've got at the start of turn, if number of allies adjacent to unit is two or less, grants dodge, which that is very easy to do, especially in Aether Raids. You can start off and there's one unit on each side. Fantastic. Uh, and neutralizes foes' bonuses during combat to unit and support partners within two spaces of unit for one turn. Let's go back and check that just to make sure that we see dodge on that unit. So you're looking at other fear and you can see support partner, dodge, null debuffs. That is absolutely fantastic. It is a great support thing. I think this unit is a really fun tech option. We just keep in mind that's not to infantry units. This is giving dodge to anyone, which is kind of fantastic. It's it's something if you wanted to do, well, <laughs> if you wanted to put a different B skill in uh, in an Omni Tank's hands, and let's take for an instance Mystic Boost Four, because Mystic Boost Four has gained a lot of value because we see so many of these uh, <laughs> these absolutely fantastic healers going around. If you wanted to do that, get both the healing and the uh, the the ability to counter staves, you could have your dodge through this skill, as well as the neutralizes foes bonuses, so you get an omni lull. That's actually really good. It's hard to know where to place this unit, like like as a, <laughs> yeah, this is not a great attack unit, I, I will give you that, but this is a very fun tech option, I like it, I do love the fact that we have an alarm skill in the main pool. I think speed defense is very good. Um, just a review at start of turn if number of allies adjacent to unit is less than or equal to two grants speed defense plus six and canto one to unit for one turn. That is also a lot of bonuses this unit is giving out. You've got dodge, you've got neutralizes foes bonuses, and you've got canto. I am, I am curious when we're going to get another unit like brave crom that really takes advantage of that maybe that'll be just his niche but still that's three different things that crom could pull off of this unit that's that's kind of fantastic let's move along flow guard's good too i love that flow guard is in the main pool that's excellent now i have to say i like yesterday i was on reddit and Somebody was talking about how this was their favorite unit. I apologize, I don't remember your name. Um, I thought it was, I, I, always, I always feel better for folks who their favorite unit and they feel like that unit will never get in the game. And it was just going on about that and here she is. <laughs> That's amazing. That is so neat to have someone get their favorite unit get into the game. So we've got Defire's Bow Plus. This is uh, effective against flyers. At start of combat, if foes HP is greater than 75%, grants defense plus five to unit and inflicts defense minus five on foe during combat. And also, if foe has bonuses, grants bonuses to unit's defense and inflicts penalty on foe's defense during combat equals current bonus on foe's defense. So that's nice. Um, yeah, I... I, I the problem is we're always going to compare these to arcane weapons, and this does not compare to arcane Nostron. But still, I, this is not bad at all. Um, speed defense, uh, speed res ideal in the main pool is fantastic. Um, attack res oath is so-so. But yeah, this is a good unit. This is a good demote. Uh, it's it's going to be a unit that's fun to merge up. Let's move on to the main course here, because this is what we've really been waiting for. We've got the bubbles, we've got the music, we've got the new mythic hero. We've got Haether. If there was any doubt as to whether this unit was somehow related to, uh, to Gulveg, it is becoming <laughs> more... Anyway, that, that we'll probably see that in the story mode. I don't know any of that. I'm just I'm speculating because of all the things going on here from Gold Serpent to getting another turn. Like, it, it's... Haether. That stat line's pretty fantastic, for one thing. Um, we're about to look at the skills. Notice what's going on here, though. So, 
she grants the effect, gets another turn. And these effects are something. Uh, let's go over her green tome. Why? Why do you make this the same tome as Sather? Why? Anyway, slang. If a rally assist skill is used, which is that that preference there, uh, by unit or targets unit, inflicts uh, an Omni minus four and guard on foes in cardinal directions of unit and target through their next action. We've seen this a million times. This is a really good effect. Even with Robin around, I still think that debuffs are pretty dang good. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants. Omni plus five to unit deals damage equals 15% of unit's attack and reduces damage from foe's first attack by 30% during combat. That's fantastic. You get extra damage. You get extra <laughs> extra, um, so, uh, extra damage reduction there. But you're really not most of the time, you're not looking at these units to be just absolute gods in combat, right? The survivability is excellent just because you can <laughs> you can tank things a little better. But still, that's if unit initiates, so you're not really getting that if someone initiates on you. So it, it still won't be easy to stall with this unit. That's that's all and nice to have. Gold Serpent is the thing, though, that everyone is going to be talking about. Grants the following effects to unit and target ally for one turn. From turn one on, grants attack speed plus six, where X equals number of turns times two, max of eight. That's fantastic. The magic number you're looking for is three. That's normally the initiation turn for player phase teams, and I think that's where this unit is going to be interesting. Um... So you get plus six there. That's fantastic. Uh, from turn two on, enables Canto one. From turn three on, grants Treachery. From turn four on, grants Dual Strike. So that is Cordelia's effect, where if you're in, <laughs> if you're in range of one unit, then you attack with Dual Strike. That is fantastic. And it grants another action. So let me lay this out for you in Astro Season and why I think I, why I like this so much for player phase teams. You remember, I <laughs> Guidance 4 is a huge thing. I have it on Plumeria. It is absolutely fantastic for these kinds of strategies. But really on any unit, you could have this that unit as your beacon. This unit warps in, grants whatever crazy stuff to that healer or whatever unit is next to it and then gets to attack again with all of this nutty things added on to it. So essentially you have a unit in the back line that you can't fit up to the front line, they move, then they attack. It is pretty great. It is not just absolutely amazing. Like this isn't Gale Force, but it is really nice and it helps take out some of those really pesky saviors. In particular, Dual Strike is good versus Maria Supports, which is, you guys have seen it. Like, Maria is coming, and she is just everywhere. It is absolutely nuts. Every day, I feel like someone comes up with a new way to use her. Remote Sparrow is fantastic for what this unit wants to do. Um, depending on what you want, this this may be something you switch out. Uh, this I have a feeling you're probably going to build this unit more for support, but Remote Sparrow for those player phase teams is going to be really nice. Magical Null follow-up is amazing. Um, it's the same thing as, as physical Null follow-up. We have inflicts speed res minus four on foe, and you get the Null follow-up part. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and then the damage reduction as well. That's a lot of damage reduction on this unit, by the way, and that will help you tank hits and then have the rest of your team go around and get pots. Uh, pot retrieval is such a big deal and the further you go up, the harder it gets because teams want to make their make it just very, very hard to get pots so that you have to stretch yourself in weird ways that allows them to take out a unit. Panic Smoke 4 is amazing. I love this skill. I think it's absolutely fantastic, especially for what this unit wants to do. Can this unit take out a savior? No. 
This, this unit this is not what this unit is for. It's just not what is going to happen with this. Unless you wanted to go the AOE route, which is interesting and something you could most certainly do because this is an infantry unit. And since she's a mythic, it will be easy to get the cooldown on her. Keep in mind, AOEs have become more and more powerful and are really one of the one of the few weaknesses that most saviors have right now. Um, the exceptions being Tiki, uh, Nagi, and uh, Duoduma. So, all that being said, this unit has a lot of potential, and the thing that you have to love about it is you have a lot of different things you can do. We'll talk about the ranking in just a minute. I am, I, I'm a big fan. I, I like this unit a lot. Weird floating bubbles around her. <laughs> 99 times four. Now they're just showing off. <laughs> but seriously, with all those effects, that's not out of the realm of possibility, which is nuts. All right. We're going to stop right there. Uh, I want to talk about rates real quick. Um, I've redone this chart just a little bit. So uh, as far as... As far as what this demote does, it just makes the colorless pool even worse. <laughs> uh, I mean, Dorothy fans, I'm happy for you. I really am. I just I make her another color for the love of God. Uh, as far as the others, I mean, you've seen it before. Uh, green is excellent and a sparkable, a sparkable mythic on green is so much easier to summon for than anything else. Like, if you need an Astra, Astra unit to start building up, here's your unit. <laughs> it's, she is really spectacular. I think she will have a long shelf life. It's always nice to hear for your mythics. All right, let's move on to fear and talk about these crazy Omni tanks. Okay, I have her right below Felix, but it is very very close and I, I I struggled with which one to put on top they're both very good units I like them a lot I feel like they do very similar things so just understand that that is it, it, it's close there that she's not going to be in the meta tier she's not a Lucia she's not a Dimitri that's just not what she does but she still is a very good unit and if you get her you're not going to be sad at all Noah was an absolute struggle for me. No kidding. I, I went back and forth on where to even put this unit. I think supports is where where they belong. It, it, it's just, yeah. Tier 2 is about right. I'd put Selene a little bit over. I think she functions in a lot of different roles better, and the healing is just so good. But that's not to say Noah is bad. Like, that supports now are so good. <laughs> they really are. So it, it's hard. Yeah. I... No offense, don't don't be discouraged by this. Like this is still a very good unit. Uh, we move on to Dorothy. I, listen, she doesn't have a preference weapon. Um, she has a decent enough stat line. You can build this unit up. Narcane Astron is a very good weapon, and you'll be seeing Tana again so that you can give it to her. Just know this is a good unit. It's just no preference weapon, so she can't really reach any higher than that. Let's talk about what we're all here for, and that's these astromythics. And I am probably going to catch a huge amount of flack for the way I've done this tier list. I, at the bottom, we have Ashra and <laughs> and uh, Thor, and I just they have lost so much value. It is a lot harder for Thor to take things out now. It just is. Uh, if Thor still very much has a use on as a role player in a Gale Force team. So don't get me wrong there. As an initiator, though, she is just not it. And it is nice to have a secondary initiator, but it is still hard to use her. Ashra, Null Panic is just everywhere, and there are so many other ways you can get it, and there are so many times you want Panic now that she has just lost almost all of her value. She'd probably be a Tier 4 if I had room for it here. Tier 2... I struggle with these. Now, Naga and <laughs> uh, both Naga and Reagan, these are two very good units, and I think Reagan is an amazing pot hound, and I think the new snag skill gives her new life. I love it. But I still think this is about the tier two level. Divine Fang continues 
to get value. It's really an incredible skill, especially with, with harmonic tiki, the second harmonic tiki. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I think I think she is amazing. I just, on her own, she doesn't do as much. Like you you have her merged up, then you're, you're happy with her, but it's not a unit that you're going out of your way to get. We get into tier one. I have Altina in tier one solely because of her SD performance. I I understand there are there are people that use her all the time. I just I keep seeing her against my defense and especially with the rise of healers and all of the counter disrupt weapons, she is hurting as a carry. And otherwise as a mythic, she's a smite bot, and that is not great. So you're probably wondering why she's up here in tier one. Her SD performance is incredible. And she is single-handedly hard carrying folks to rank one in SDR. It is it is nothing short of amazing. I seriously, I I cannot believe it. Sather and Elamine. I keep on talking about this, but I feel like Elamine has just lost a lot of value. Um a lot of value coming from her being one like the top mythic down to she's still really good. So don't get me wrong on that. But I feel like she is good in one specific team comp, and that is generally with save balls. I think Omni tanks have other ways to deal with Catria balls, and I think, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. So if you are a save ball guru, then. Elamine is tier zero above Plumeria, to be completely honest with you. But still, I, I don't think in general she is as amazing. Sather, I still love this unit. Being able to shut off a unit is very powerful, but not only that, you can take her and use her as an AoE nuke, and it is it is kind of ridiculous and fun. Um, she is amazing with her attack. I She performs a lot of different roles. So I, maybe that's my favorite favoritism, but I've used her a ton and I don't regret plus tenning her. I think she is an absolutely incredible unit. We're gonna skip to Plumeria here and talk about her. The reason Plumeria is on a tier all her own is because, well was, <laughs> is because the skills that they've given healers, guidance for, Firestorm Dance. I, these skills are incredible, and I I, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Like, that is, that is something that has just increased her value, and if you don't have Guidance 4 on your Mythic Dancers, I, I know it's expensive, but I highly recommend it. It has absolutely changed my game and made the mode very, very pleasant. Uh, as well as being useful in other things like summoner duels. Um, I have the unit merged up, so like in Arena, it is, that build is just absolutely incredible. Haether. It's possible that I'm too high on this, but I feel the same way about Saether, but just a little better. Um, and the little better part is the additional action. So Guard is incredibly powerful along with the debuffs. That is... That is something that can be used in your enemy phase teams. As far as player phase teams, and we talked about it a little bit ago, but I think that is where this unit is really going to shine. I, someone in the Discord called her the uh, the Elamine of player phase teams. I am I'm a huge fan, and I think this unit is going to hold value and be amazing, and I, I don't know what else, what else to say. The only thing I don't like is that she's a green tome and we just got a green tome. But the fact that she's infantry works so well with Guidance 4. I, yeah. Did I already talk about the AoEs on her, which I think she could po probably run better than Sather? I, be, yeah. Anyway, I probably did. I think I already did it. It's been a very, very long day. Summoners. Here's my ranks. Tell me who you're going to summon for. I would love to hear it. Quick thanks thanks to the members. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all you're doing. I apologize this video is out a little late. I had to reconfigure with the Faye channel not coming and just kind of put my brain in the right spot. I hope all is well. Take care and schedule an appointment with your Faye just real soon.